What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darku and today we're going to be going over how you can win yourself a shiny Venonat in the next PvE catching event. Before we get started with the video then I just want to say a huge thank you to the PokeMo community and everyone alike who have been watching my videos and supporting me. We've just hit 2,000 subscribers, 420 videos and even loads of followers on Twitch as well. I super super appreciate it and it has been such a warm welcome into the PokeMo community and I really appreciate everyone who watches my stuff and supports me. Thank you so so much. Anyways, on to the video. So as per usual then, with these videos we're going to give you the basic info, the tips and tricks, the catch rates, how to submit your entry etc. So if, even if you're brand new, do not fear, we're going to go over everything that you need to know. So starting us off then, this starts on Saturday the 22nd of July 2023 at 8am UTC, so if you're in the UK like me that's 9am in the morning, I will hopefully make this event. Uh, the time converter will be in the description of this video if you need it to convert to your time zone. The location will be in the Berry Forest in Kanto on channel 1. Now there's a couple of things to go over here, first off we are on the Berry Forest right now, in Kanto we're on Island 3 so you need to be I'd say the 7th badge, the 7th gym badge in and then you also need to take the boat and do the 1, 2 and 3 island quests in able to even reach this location. As well as with the channel 1, you actually don't even need to be on channel 1, but that's where the majority of people will be. So if you want to be on channel 1 with everyone else, at the very bottom right, click on the community tab, click on the change channel tab, and then we'll go to change to channel 1, and we'll go to change that way, and you'll see that you've jumped to basically another server, and you will see an abundance of people here during this event. So again, you don't need to be on channel 1, you can catch these bonds on any channel, however, channel 1 will obviously have the CMs and mods around, as well as loads of players, etc. It's a very nice community feel. So when this event starts, once again at 8am UTC, you will get one hour for catching as many Pokemon as you can, and then you will get your 10 minutes to submit your entry. Obviously we'll go over what that means now. So during this event you can win 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th prize. 1st, 2nd and 3rd are obviously your highest total score possible, and 4th place will be your lowest score possible. Now score, you're wondering, obviously how do we get the score, how do we sum that up? So basically you catch a Pokemon of the valid entry, in this one specifically it's Venonat and Venomoth, you can catch any other Pokemon is excluded, they are not part of the event, you can only catch Venonat and Venomoth in this location during this time period. So when you're catching you'll notice that your total score is the sum of your IVs plus the species that you caught plus a nature bonus as well. So in this event specifically if you catch Venonat you get a plus 5 total score and Venomoth you get a plus 3 total score. There is no neutral and there is no minus score on this event. The nature bonuses are timid plus 3 and adamant minus 1 so if you get any other nature it doesn't even give you any points at all like no extra points, no minus points but if you get timid you obviously go plus 3 points towards your total score. Adamant will give you minus 1 so if you want to try and come 4th place in this event you want to try and get a venom off hopefully with an adamant nature and that will give you hopefully the lowest score providing you have low IVs as well and if you want to try and win the event with the highest score possible you want to try and get a venom out with plus 5 plus the timid nature as well. So your best opportunity to win. So now that you know that you get one hour for catching as many Pokemon as possible and you're looking for the score etc, I just want to be clear that you send in one Pokemon as an entry, it is not an accumulative score, you don't add everything up together, you just send in one entry with the absolute best or worst total score for your chance to win. We'll go over that in more detail on how to submit your entry at the end of this video. Onto the tips and tricks then, so you want to try and get the timid nature as a nature bonus because it gives you plus 3 points on top of catching Venonat. So in order to do that I would bring myself an Espeon, hey yo I forgot this mod was on. <clears throat> anyway, so I would bring myself this Espeon which has the synchronize ability and if you notice now we're just going to put Espeon to the front of our party and now at the very top left you'll see that we have an outer battle ability which gives us a 20% chance for the wild Pokemon's nature to match the one that we've synchronized with. So we have this uh, Espeon with a synchronize and then we have the nature of timid so that when we find something in the wild hopefully it has a 20% chance to find a Venonat with a timid nature because we want those plus three points. Obviously if you're going for the last place possible you could do the same thing but make sure you have the adamant nature because the adamant nature in this event specifically is minus one. 
So obviously you would try and encounter with this Pokemon up front, but you're not going to be using this to catch. So for example, I'll be bringing myself a Breloom as well, which has the Poison Heal ability with a Toxic Orb holding it as well, so that we can poison ourselves and then heal from it instead of taking poison damage, so we don't have to worry about taking too much damage. And this is our catching Breloom, so we obviously have a Force Swipe to make it to like 1 HP for a better catch rate, as well as Spore, so we can make the Pokemon sleep as well for a better catch rate. So once again, we would send out this Espeon for the chance for the nature, we would immediately switch into our Breloom to Full Swipe and Spore to get the best chance of nature and best chance to catch it as well with the Pokeball rates. So that's pretty much it for the tips and tricks. We're now going to bring on screen the catch rates with the Pokeballs, the Great Balls, Ultra Balls, Repeat Balls, and even Quick Balls as well for the two Pokemon that can be accepted as entries in this event. Not only that, but I would quickly recommend as well when you have loads and loads of Pokemon on your screen like so, and you want to know which one is the best. Obviously, if you figure out that this is the best total score or the worst total score that you want to submit, make sure you go onto the stat page like so, and you can click this little yellow ticket here, and you can actually rename your Pokemon so mine's called event video so if they all the Pokemon were in your PC you could literally just search for in this case event video and we would find this Pokemon straight away amongst the abundance of Pokemon that we would catch during this event this will make it so much easier when you've got those 10 minutes to submit your entry to just find the entry without having to search through every single one all right, so just to reiterate, this is happening again at 8 a.m. UTC, time converter in the description. And if you want to submit your entry, here is how to do it. So after the one hour is up, the mods and the CMs, etc. will say taking entries in the global chat. And obviously they're not doing it right now, but you can see a mod Kathy here. So we're going to quickly right click on Kathy, whisper her. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure that our Pokemon that is going to win or lose the event is in our party like so. And we can just go down here and click link. We're going to go to Pokemon and we're going to click the you know event video Pokemon which we're going to send in. And we're just going to whisper it like that. And you'll see I've whispered to Kathy the Venom off there, which is obviously my entry. Now we'll say try and keep this on you for at least a good 10 minutes so that they can definitely validate your entry. If you put the Pokemon in the box too fast, they might not be able to get your entry. So like I said, try and keep it on you for at least 10 minutes. So there you go ladies and gents, that's all the information for the video. Like I said, don't forget if you want to bring a natured, synchronized Pokemon with you, it doesn't have to be Espeon, it can be like Gardevoir, etc, or Umbreon, Alakazam, anything really, as long as it has the synchronized ability plus the nature you want. And bring a catching Pokemon, it doesn't have to be Breloom, obviously Breloom just knows Spore and False Swipe, you could bring something like a Smurgle or something that has the same thing going on. And obviously you get your entry as well. Once again, I'm going to bring on the catch rates of the Pokemon as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoy future videos, and as I said before, huge huge thank you to the Pokemon community for just the massive support that I've received recently. I love you all, and I'll see you on another video. See ya!